Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dad Life FXD. Today we have a 1947 Ford pickup truck that I built from the ground up about a year ago. We have a couple maintenance items that need to be caught up on with this thing, and we have a couple major issues. Uh, one of them being the battery is smoked, and the key is smoked as well. Let me. Okay. Well, it's still stuck in there. So that's the first item on the agenda is to get this ignition switch replaced. Hang tight and I'll tell you what happened. All right, the switch we're gonna re be replacing is a off on start switch. Um, it's a C choice. So this is actually a marine unit. The reason I like using marine units is because they use uh, less corrosive materials. So everything inside here is gonna be a copper or brass, you know, something that doesn't corrode because it's kind of built for water. Uh, so these are used all across the board in custom applications, cars, trucks, uh, anything. It's pretty standard. You have your standard key switch, um, then it goes from off to the power position, and then you have a mo momentary starter switch built in this one. And it's a three prong, so you pretty much have your power coming in, your power going out, and then your power going to your starter. Very simple. The reason we have to replace this unit, this is all speculation, but uh, this is actually my dad's truck I built for him about a year ago. Um, it was parked at his house and they're on vacation. And we're pretty sure someone tried to steal the truck. So the original switch I put in, um, the actual key switch got stuck and it was very um, kind of boogered up on the end. So it looks like someone attempted to hotwire uh, the ignition switch and they actually left it on. So the ignition switch stayed on for about two weeks, which actually smoked the battery and smoked the ignition switch. So that's why we're replacing these units. So you guys follow along and this should be a clean, easy job. All right, so here's the ignition switch right here and you can see how it's stuck and it doesn't come out. And it was actually left on in that position for about a week. So we're gonna get this thing unbolted, uh, try and get this camera in a good position where you guys can see, and we're gonna switch out the wires and then uh, hopefully check one thing off the list with this truck project. All right, one of the things I like to do to make this a little simpler with um, changing these uh, switches out, especially in the custom world, you know, you never know exactly what wires they have uh, going where and what wires are powering up. You know, I've seen, you know, red wires for grounds. I've seen black wires for hots. So the easiest way to do this, so you have it set up the way they did it. You know, I wired this truck up, so I know exactly how this truck is, is hooked up. But in, you know, other cases, where possibly someone else did, you, you really would never know. It, that, that could use all one color wire. So what I like to do is each terminal I take off one at a time, this was going to the starter, the hot wire. I'll take that wire off and I'll immediately put it on the new switch where the starter wire is and so forth. I'll just keep going one by one. That way you know you never you know lose a wire or have it misplaced or anything like that.
All right, now that the key switch in the dash is replaced and that's all good to go, second job is to replace the battery in this truck. Because the key was left on for several weeks, um, the battery just zeroed out and there was no getting it back even with a charge or trickle charge. So we're gonna have to replace it, unfortunately. Now because the uh, size of the motor and the extra components that were added to the original uh, truck bay or the engine bay in this old truck, there was no room up front for the battery. So we ended up making a custom battery box under the bed pan in this truck. So let's get this uh, access panel off and we'll go ahead and swap this battery out. You can call me yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I may see. You can say I will. You think that using her would get to me. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break my eye. When it comes to her, you better keep it singing. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. You think that using her would get to me, and if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I will break my eye. All right guys, so that's it. We got the battery replaced and the key switch replaced. And now let's see if this thing will fire up. Test drive what? guys appreciate y'all watching that concludes this episode of the 1947 Ford truck we're gonna go test drive some more and cruise around and enjoy ice cream uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe be highly appreciated y'all stay tuned for the next one